Hi guys, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Can. can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's nice because I can hardly hear you right now. But if you can hear me, that would be really great. There you go. Now, can you hear me, guys, or no yet? Yes. Oh, yes, can that's great. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you yes. know, yes. I'm not a technology girl, so <laughs> may I apologize. No <laughs> Thank you. All righty, finally, you know what? I was really excited. Uh, okay, let me open my, right now my, um, my video camera. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, How are you guys? Hello. Very good. Yes, pretty good. Yeah. I'm sorry for the delay. You know what? I was really, uh, I'm a clock girl, but today we have like a technical issues and I was like, oh my God, this is the first day of the class and I do have technical problems. That's not, that, no way. But well, I resolved it finally. I, I sent you guys a message to the WhatsApp group. Have you seen it? Yes. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Letting you know that it will be a little bit late because of technical issues. All right. So, well, but not too late, right? It was only like six minutes. And I was ready. And I was ready. But, oh, my God. Well, technical issues. But, well, finally, everybody's here. Hey, and we have a lot of people today, actually. We do have 17. That's amazing. That's really great. I like it. Some of you I know from previously classes. Uh, but most of you are really brand new guys. So we need to like introduce each other, right? That would be amazing. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm sorry if I speak really fast. Um, I apologize for that. If you do not understand something, if you said, teacher, hey, 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 slow down a little bit, I'll be more than glad to slow down, okay? Okay. okay. All right, today we're in model two, so that means that we'll need to speak more English than Spanish. Is that right? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes, so we have two options, or speak English or speak English. Which one you prefer? <laughs> the first. <laughs> the first one, right? The first one. Definitely the first one. one. Speak, English. The first one. Uh, speak English, that's for sure. All right, very good. Okay, so let's introduce ourselves. And of course, because I'm the teacher, I need to start, right? Mm -hmm. All righty. So, well, as I already let you know and send you a message yesterday to the WhatsApp group, my name is Sylvia. All right. I'm 30 something years old and live it that way, right? I'm 30 something, all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm an English teacher, a uh, lot to teach. And um, well, hopefully we're going to get along well and we're going to become more like student and teacher, right? We're going to build a really a strong and close relationship, all right? So we're going to become at the end of the, of the model, like a family, like friends, okay? Uh, hopefully. I'm a strong teacher, as Adela knows, <coughs> right? <laughs> but at the same time, you're going to have fun with me, but I'm really strict. At. So, but that mean a strong teacher? A strong. A strong. Yes, I know the, the words, but when you say a strong teacher? No, a strong relationship. Ah, okay, okay, uh -huh, sorry, exactly. I, I don't no. understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay, no problem, but good questions. Every time that you have uh, like a doubt, don't worry. Feel free to ask me, and if I have the answer, great. If not, I will invent. No, I'm sorry. I will figure it out, and I will let you know, okay? <laughs> All righty. Uh, well, I'm a teacher that always will do a recap for every class, but that means that you will need to study with me because I will ask you information that we have seen in the previous class, All right? And hopefully, you can do the exercise of the platform. Any doubts, I will be more than glad to help you with that. And uh, we're going to also, guys, to develop the skills that you're interested in. Um, so I will also need to hear your opinion about what are your expectations for this course, what is exactly your weakness and your strongest skill, okay? It, because for, it will be like a really helpful for me in order for me to prepare the class and help you achieve, not only develop, but also achieve your goals. You know what achieve means? Yes? Yeah. That means to reach your goals, all right? So that's what I want, exactly. So we're going to be like uh, horizontal communication, all right? All right, so enough for me, enough talking about me. I want to, to hear about you, to get along and get to know each other. 
All right, volunteer. Okay, thank you so much for participating, Adela. How are you? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> ah, oh, you gotta be prepared with me. Okay. All right, Adela. So, okay, we know your name because I have been mentioning it at the beginning of the class, right? But um, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? The microphone is all yours, girl. Go ahead. Adela Garcia. Yeah, we can uh, hardly hear you. A little bit louder, please, Adela. Okay. My name is Adela Garcia. I work in accounting department of Fire El Salvador. Um, I, I have four children. And I like cooking for my family. And That's for sure. I like share all free time with my family, my husband and my child. Oh, very good. Thank you so much. Guys, you need to be very careful because I'm going to ask you some questions related to your classmates, okay? So you need to focus on what they're saying, okay? All right. Okay. Thank you, Adela. Okay, any other volunteers? Thank you so much for participating. Melvin, how are you, my friend? Long time without seeing you, guy. How are you, teacher? I'm pretty good and so happy to see you back again. Tell us a little bit about yourself, please. All my pleasure to see you. Yeah, me too. Good evening to all my partners. Uh, my name is Melvin Velasquez. I'm working in this moment mm -hmm. <laughs> in Tigo, El Salvador. The, mm -hmm. I'm in the credit department uh, to attend uh, uh, enterprises with the uh, sol with they need to uh, telephone uh, telephone numbers, telephone mm -hmm. lines, and other type of services for enterprise. My pleasure to be here. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you, Melvin. You're paying attention, right guys? Okay, thank you. Uh, any brand new one? Um, let me pick it up. All righty, Mr. Ronald Humberto. How are you, sir? I like your hat, by the way. We cannot hear you. There you sorry, go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm great. I'm glad to be here. So my name is, is Ronan and I'm work yes, I, I'm working in in Atlantic Bank. Mm -hmm. I, I am a lawyer and my purpose in this in this course so is improve my English in order in order to to be better uh, practicing speaking English with my classmates. That's amazing. And I, so basically you will need to develop your speaking skill. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. And good to know that you're a lawyer. My, my, my sister is a lawyer too. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, she is. Okay. But she doesn't live here. She lives in Costa Rica. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice because I will take time into consideration for you to develop your skills and improve your vocabulary, right? Especially in your okay. in your um low real environment, okay? Okay. That's cool. Okay, you're paying attention, right, guys? <laughs> Christian Alexander, how are you? He was like, "It's going to be my turn. What is going to be my turn? Now is your turn, man." So there you go. Hi, <laughs> teacher. How are you? Uh, Okay, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is uh, Christian. Mm -hmm. uh, I work I work in, in Pro America Bank. Okay. Um, How old are you? Yeah. Um, good, very good. No, I mean, how old, yeah. are, how old are you? Are you 23, 24? Okay, yeah. uh, 20, uh, 27. Oh no, you don't look like, you look like 23. Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, it's nice to have you in our class, okay? What are your expectations? What is exactly what you need to, to do, what you would like to improve? Again? Writing? Reading? Uh, or uh, all, all, all. Before. Well, my man. You're in the right place. 
And I'm sorry for you, but the blog will start in a moment, okay? Okay. Yes, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Christian. All righty. Oh, Mr. Jose Ismael Ramirez. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Good night. It's been yeah. a pleasure. My name is Jose Ismael. I come from I'm from San Vicente, but I live in Lourdes, Colón. Yeah, I have <laughs> I have 33 years old. Oh, you're younger and than me. Okay. I I work near to my house. I work in a in a warehouse of uh, in Esple, El Salvador. Oh, that's nice. And Miss Thank you. My expectations are to improve my my speaking. Okay. And, and to uh, uh, listen and uh, uh, writing. And writing. In All that right. order. Okay. I think. <laughs> That's really nice to hear that. All right, especially with yeah. grammar. I know that all, most of you don't love, doesn't love grammar, but uh, with me, you will love it, okay? 100% sure, right, Adela? Mm, right, Melvin? Mel, Melvin, don't do, don't, don't do that face, okay? <laughs> I'm just right. kidding. All righty, okay. I do have a really uh, a smiley girl here in the group today, yeah? Every crazy thing that the teacher says, she's like, <laughs> yes, all righty, so. Let's listen to Corelia Digis Rivera. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yes, good evening. Good evening. I smiling because you are very energy. Uh, uh, that yes. is so that is so good because tonight <laughs> Oh yeah. Tonight we are sleepy. Oh yes. That is good. With me, no. You will never sleep. Yes, I, I can up. let you know. Yes, I can let you know that you will never sleep, right? Uh -huh. Imagine yeah. if you're alive with me, hi, in face to face. Oh my God! I will say it. if you're sleeping, I will throw you this. So wake up! No, I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> okay. And what are your That's expectations? That's very fun. <laughs> <laughs> what are your expectations for this class or for this course, Corral? My expectation for this class mm -hmm. is to better my speak. To improve your speaking skill, okay. Improve my speaking skill, yes, because I think it's the part more difficult for me. It's the most difficult part for you. Yes, the most difficult part for me. Um, yes, that for that. And I work in um, children village. I work with children. Oh, I am a psychologist. Really. So Yes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so we do have a lot of professions. We have a psychologist. We do have a credit a specialist department. We do have a lawyer in case we are in trouble. We can ask Ronald Lumberto how we can like solve the problem. All righty, because that's great. Yes. We do have a mother. We have an accountant, right? All right. Let me, and also we do have like a, a front desk agent. Uh, Helen Mercedes Lopez, how are you? Now was your turn to speak. She was like, why is it going to be my turn? Okay. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> my name is Helen Lopez, and mm -hmm. I work here in Comfort Inn. Yes, I have seen it. Very good. <laughs> yes, here in Samia. And uh, now in uh, the reception, but I used to be in the administration area. Oh, okay. I'm doing some, th some things about human resources. Hmm, and HR, okay. Yeah, so that's why what I do here. Ooh. And my expectation for the class are to improve my speaking and my writing because I have to learn. Oh, yes. That. Yes. Definitely. And, yes, we have to. Um, yeah. Only that. Only that? And I'm glad to be here again and meet some new people. Really? Yes. Was this the first time that you be with me? So for yeah, me, we're really it. brand yes. new. Yes. yes. Yay. Yes. Okay. It's the first time. Yeah. Well, and hopefully not will be the last time. Okay. <laughs> hopefully. hopefully. Hopefully not. <laughs> okay. The last one I'm going to ask <laughs> is uh, this is beautiful lady, you know, who also loves long earrings like me. All right, Miss Now Noemi, how are mm -hmm. you? 
It's been a pleasure I, to have you I, here. I need to tell you, I don't like the ears to be bad. Uh -huh. It's a gift of my daughter. She it's, it's do this. Gift. Okay. She do this and she give me for my birthday. Oh, this but you know what? Because I use. You use them. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah. They look really nice on you. I uh, Thank you. Yeah, it makes your face a little bit uh, longer and a yeah. little bit uh, with uh, more chicks, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you know what? The first time that I saw you, like, oh my God, where is this Spanish girl from? <laughs> like, I if you're coming from Spain, you know? Like a flamenco <laughs> no. thing? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and I love the earrings. Those are really nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All righty. Okay. So, if everybody was paying attention, <clears throat> and then, and, okay, guys, tell me how many... How many of your classmates said that they would like to improve um, the speaking skill? Who said that? Mm -hmm. Coralia. Coralia, yes. Who said that? Helen? No. Yeah. yeah. Who Me. else? <laughs> of course. <laughs> and who else? You're missing the hot guy. I mean, no, I mean, no. Ronald. 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 Exactly. The man who's doing like this. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All righty. Uh, who said that um, she doesn't like what she's wearing right now, but it was a gift for a relative, and that's why she's wearing those things. Who said that? No, I mean. Very, very good. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask a specific gift to one person that has been participated, but I want to listen to. Um, Wendy Guadalupe, how are you? I knew that she's going to ask me. All right. <laughs> okay, Wendy, <laughs> tell me something. Who said that used to work in HR department, but now she's working the front desk of a hotel? Um, Helen? Yeah. Helen who? Helen Mercedes. Exactly. Very good job. Oh, oh my, she was paying attention, you see. All right. <laughs> I Thank you. Aha, uh -huh, you're taking notes. That's what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. All right. Thanks. Janet Montano. <laughs> yes. It's now is your turn. <laughs> okay. Who said that he's really a lucky man that basically a, he works near, well, he lives near he works place. I don't know, teacher. Sorry. I don't know, teacher. No, that's not an answer for me. Jose Mael. <laughs> ah, come on. Don't help her, Nami. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. And last but not least, who said that the teacher is really crazy and she's energetic? Who said that? Then Coralia. Ah, and Coralia's like, me. Come on, <laughs> don't help them. Come on, all righty. Ronald, you yeah. yeah, I love I wrote Ronald's mustache. You know what remembers me? It really reminds me, uh, Mr. Oh, what what's the painter? Is it is uh, Salvador Dali? Dali. Dali, exactly. <laughs> Remember that is it was a Spanish painter, right? Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. So, the first time that I saw you, like. This is Salvador Dali's home, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. Very good. Okay, guys. So, without further um, obstaculization, let the blood begin, okay? Let the party start. Are you ready? Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. If I have a really nice students and really responsible students, I just want to make sure that if you guys double check or if you try to get into the platform today, and check it out. What's today's topic? Can somebody tell me? What's today's phrases topic? Phrases, verb. Phrases, verb. Phases. Phrases. A phrasal, phrasal verb. All right. Phrasal. Phrasal. Exactly. Okay. Phrasal. phrasal verb. What is a phrasal verb, by the way? It's a verb. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a verb. It is a verb, actually. Yes. But that made, that, that made up of uh, main verbs. So. 
Okay, yes, you do have an idea. Yeah, very good. Any other opinion? Don't fight, okay? Don't fight. Everybody will participate. Okay, Umberto said that is a verb. Yes, yes, it is a verb, actually. But had to parse. Aha! Uh -huh. Very good. So it's a verb that has two parts. Do you remember which are the parts? No. Noun and pronoun. Uh, you can use it with noun and pronoun, yes. But it depends. It has the different positions of noun and pronouns depends which one you're using with. Yes, but you can use it. You're right. But there are not the parts of the phrasal verbs. I mean, not the main ones, okay? But you can use it. You're good. Very good, Umberto. Anybody else? No. When you request, maybe. You can make a request, yes. For example, the, I don't know if uh, besides Adela and Melvin, uh, if some of you has uh, children, yes, you do? Yes. Yes. Or if you don't, because you're a teenager, you're a single mom, or you don't have it, whatever the reason will be, you, everybody, all of us, we were a teenagers, right? Once in, in our lives, is that correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know, but we were like, the mother was talking to you and you were like, it is, right? Or yeah. talking by the phone, right? Or watching TV, right? Okay. And uh, do you remember that your mother said, Umberto, yeah, that TV is really loud. Turn it down, please. Do you remember that? Yeah. All right. Or for example, mercy. Merci. What, mom? Yeah. Hey, look at your room. All your clothes are all over the floor. Pick them up, please. In a minute, mom. Right? You remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, you were a teenager, right? And me too, but a long time ago. <laughs> all righty. So basically, guys, the mom and the dad, they were uh, requesting you to do something, to act, right? For example, to clean your ha to room, to if you're listening to music and it's really loud, to loud the volume, for example, right? Or to help them do something. When we do that, when we make a request, we use phrasal verbs. So let's uh, start developing one of the skills that is sometimes is really hard and is one of the uh, skills that is um, most difficult to develop, which in this case will be the listening skill. All right? All right, guys. So this is what I'm going to do. I will play um, an audio right now. And I want you guys just to pay attention of the conversation. Actually, it's a conversation between mom, dad, son, and daughter, okay? Or daughter, okay? And what I want you to do, guys, we're going to start developing the listening skill but I want you guys not to focus on the entire conversation. I don't want that. What I want you to pay attention to is if you can identify in that conversation, the phrasal verse, exactly Ronald. Here's my right hand, you know? Here's my right hand for now one, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, guys, so do you understand what, we're, what I, I want you to do on this listening part? Yeah. Okay. All right, and if you have any questions regarding vocabulary after we figured it out, the phrasal verbs, we're going to work on that. But first of all, I just want you to pay attention on the phrasal verbs. And you know what? I'm going to be bad. Yes, and I want to let you know how it's going to be our mythology from now on. Um, I will play the audio only two times this week, okay? In okay. the next weeks, it will be only one time. Okay. If you get it, great. If you don't, sorry. And, and, and I'm not pretending to be bad, but I'm pretending to, to help you develop your listening skill, okay? And I will let you know what is the reason why I'm doing that, okay? So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me search more information really quickly. And we're going to start. Mm 
I'm just going to share my listening. I'm not going to share anything else or writing. <laughs> okay. okay. Let me just a couple of minutes. I will share with you in a moment. And I just want to make sure that everything is okay. And uh, I just want you to let me know as soon as you're able to listen. Okay. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Guys, how are you doing today? Are you okay? How was your day going so far? Hello. Usually tired by my Usu day, my Usually record tired, day. Melvin. Yeah, why is tired? A lot of work. Yeah, I can't imagine that. Anybody else who had a tough day like Melvin? Me too. Who said that? Because I cannot see, I cannot hear you right now. Me, me. me. All Noemi. right. Noemi? Okay. Yes. Yeah, I know. There are some times that uh, are days that are really hard, but you know what, guys? Even though this has been a hard day for you, I'm so happy that you're showing your commitment and to be here because even though you're really tired, you are in the class. That's why I'm so happy. You show your commitment and the willing to learn and the willing to start rocking. So, okay, I'm going to share right now my screen, guys, with you. And it will be only the listening paw. So let me just a couple of minutes. I will play it and let me know as soon as you're able to listen, okay? Yes. Can you listen, guys? Yes. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right. But do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. All right. Would you like to hear it one more time or that's enough? That's enough. I, that's enough. <laughs> one more time, please. Oh, no, no. Uh -uh. One more time, please. For you, that's enough. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All righty, so let's listen, okay? All righty. Okay, that's enough, he said. Okay. Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. <laughs> Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right. But do it as soon as you hang up. Okay. No problem. Goodness. Were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Okay. All right. So tell me, guys, could you identify at least two praise lovers in this conversation? Volunteer. Okay. Thank you so much. Maria del Carmen, <laughs> how are you? Hi, how are you? Yeah, tell me, could you identify at least one phrasal verb or two or three? Um, I don't know. No? Okay, don't worry. Don't I think worry. It's okay, no problem. Eh, no, that's not a phrasal verb. No, no, but that's okay. Don't worry. Okay, um, what about you, Noemi? Noemi, sorry. Yes, I Which identify, one? I'm not sure, mm -hmm. three, maybe. Okay. Turn, turn down the TV, turn down. Turn down, okay. Pick up. Turn down. In, okay. in, yeah. in hang up. Okay. I don't know if this is this, this phrase or In hang up, okay. Uh -huh. I will put it in the chat like this. Is that what you got? Anybody else? Umberto, are you agree? Agree. 
Okay. Classmate. With your classmate. Yeah. With Noemi. Anybody else? Melvin? Adela? Merci? Sorry, mercy. Merci. Merci. You know what is because in French, you you uh, you um, write it like that way, but it's merci. So that's why sometimes for me it's confusing. Okay. All, all right. All right. All, all right can be other. No, no. All right, no. All right is an expression. Yes. So basically, guys, yes. All of them. All of them are phrasal verbs. Guys, we have a lot of phrasal verbs. Oof, you cannot imagine. Um, I couldn't find out, but I have a book like this. Hey, like Ronald, Ronald, like the penal code, Código Penal in yeah. Spanish. Like that is the book that I have only with phrasal verbs. How, how many know. how many phrasal that uh, we can find in this book? More than one hundred. Yes. And, 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 and could you give us a, a, some advice in order to to memorize these phrasal verbs or practice? Only practice. <laughs> Only practice, and there's something else that I will let you know. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Because, um, guys, you for example, we have pick up, right? Pick up. Depends on which part. The verb here is pick. Okay. And the up, the up is what we call particle. That's what we call in English. So, so it, if we use, for example, dress up is a, yeah, it, it's a phrasal verb. Exactly, exactly. And depends if you put, if you use dress up, dress on, dress out, whatever, depends on the they, particle they that you phrasal. use, the meanings are different. Okay. Yes, depends on the particle that you use, you, it could mean something totally different. For pickup, I have at least 14 uses. Only for pickup. Yeah? So don't worry. Don't worry when this is like, mm -hmm. don't worry, okay? <laughs> okay, so are you ready to focus more on those phrasal verbs? Yes? Okay. Yes. Guys, I have to let you know that we have phrasal verbs are called two word verbs because if you if you do if you notice, turn is one word right down is another word so that means that is a verb composed of two words in this case it's a two word verb but also we do have a phrasal verse that has three words and we call three word verb but that is going to be for future okay i'm not going to give you that a lot of information because your frame is going to explode and i don't want that okay <laughs> <laughs> yes okay so today we're going to focus on the phrasal verse on the two word verbs, okay? That's what we're going to focus on. Like turn down, pick up, pick up. hang up, all right? And guys, we can use these verbs with nouns and at the same time with pronouns. And this is what we're going to see right now. So allow me just a couple of minutes when I pop it up my screen and then I will share with you. Okay, so bear with me. Don't worry, Anita. Everything's going to be all right, okay? <laughs> also, don't worry, Janet. And merci as well. All righty, very good. There you go. Are you able to see my screen, guys, by the way? Yes. Yeah? Okay, there you go. Okay, you see? My lovely face of birth. Okay. Okay, you see? We have two purpose or phrase of verse. It does... Uh, everybody can see my screen or would you like me to make it bigger? I can see. It's okay. Is that okay? I will make yes, it bigger okay. just in case. Okay, is that much better, guys? Much better? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, yes. Yes. thank you, teacher. You're more than welcome. It's my pleasure. All right, guys. So if you can see here, the phrase of verb, we compose it two parts. The verb, which in this case, guys, is this example put right and a particle which in this case is off okay off because it with double f okay is that clear yes that, that is exactly yes. what we have here right do you see okay for example the word put that's the only the word put alone 
That means to place, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put a, your glass of water on the table, for example, right? That means to collocate or to locate one thing into another. But if I use it like a phrasal verb, and in this case, I add the particle of, that has another meaning, guys. What is the meaning? To postpone. Mm -hmm. All right. And let me give you an example. For example, um, uh, mommy, I want to go uh, to vacation. Could you please put off your meeting for next uh, Friday? You see? Mm -hmm. You're asking to postpone, right? To change. Okay. That is what put off means. But you can say put on, for example. And that means something different. That means you need to wear something. For example, let me let me give you an example here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, there you go. Can we use put? Yes, we can use put with a different particle. Put, we know that it means to place, right? But if we've said put on, what does it mean? Where? Right? Okay, for example, you're inviting, uh, Melvin, you're inviting your wife to go out and have dinner together. You said, today is our anniversary, honey. Put on that. <laughs> pre, uh, black, you know, no, 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 that. Uh, black lovely dress. Exactly, that lovely dress that you look so amazing, baby. Okay, you see? And what you're, uh, what you're telling her? to wear that dress because you like it. You see? You know what I mean, guys? Yes. yes. All right. So we have seen this right now. I'm going to stop sharing this. And I want you guys to think about um, one sentence using a phrasal verb. But first of all, let's practice the pronunciation, OK? Because Teacher, yes. I, I, I get lost. So, so put on is not a phrasal verb. It is a phrasal verb. It is. It is. Oh, okay. It is a phrasal verb. Does the word put? No. Because the word put alone means to locate something, right? Or to collocate yes. something. But if you put, for example, a particle, you can say put off. Off is the particle. And when you put it, and when you use it together with put, put off, that means something, right? In this case, postpone. If I use put with on, that is the other particle, and as I said, put on, that means wear, okay? Okay. Okay, the phrasal verb, guys, if you use it with a different particle, it could mean something different. For example, you see, I'm using the same verb, put. Put off, put on. But if you, if you can double check, guys, if I use put off, it means one thing, right? And if I use put on, that means another thing, totally different. Yes, Umberto. Go ahead. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Go ahead, sir. Uh, when, when we are going to 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 use this phrasal verb, mm -hmm. we we have to identify the sentence. I mean, what happened if the sentence if if in the past, for example? The sentence. The sentence in the past. We have to to put the phrasal verb in the past, or no. No, you, you will never put a phrasal verb in the past. Never. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Teacher, and the I, meaning, teacher, and the meaning uh, change in the different style. For example, if you, for example, I can, I can, I can, the, sorry, sorry, I, I can use the same word for present, past, uh, in the future. Mm -hmm. Yes. Same sentence. Yes, you okay. can use it, but do me a favor. Formulate the question correctly. You said, I can use. That means that you are saying something or you're asking me something. No, 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 no. I, I, I try to. Uh, uh, you're asking me something, right? So <laughs> when you said, I can use or can I use? What do you think, guys? Can I, okay, okay. Can, can I, I use? use? Can I use? Can exactly. I use? Very good. Very good. Excellent. I will give you an example right now. Today, we're going to focus the phrasal verbs in present. Okay? Uh, and don't worry. Don't worry. I will teach you the phrasal verbs in past and everything. Okay? Don't worry. There's an idiom here that I love to use. Hold your horses. You know what that means? 
hold Wait. your horses. Oh, I will, I will ride it for you. Idiom. He's an idiom, yes. Hold uh, yeah. your horses. All right. I, I wrote it in the chat right now. Hold <laughs> your horses. Okay. Yeah, um, I will, I have to let you know that phrase in Spanish because you will understand it much better. That's uh, That means sereno moreno. <laughs> right? Oh, the old sereno. Yeah. That means, okay, you know, that depends on your color of your skin, right? So hold your horses, oh. that means al suave, okay? Relax, relax. Relax, exactly. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Slow down. Yeah, okay, that's <laughs> what it means. You see, we have a lot of phrases that has in common that thing. Okay, so you see, you're learning something new. Hold your horses is an idiom. Yeah. Easy, Thank easy, you. easy, right, Melvin? Yes. Like a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. Another idiom. Like, or, that like horchata. Like horchata, yes, definitely. <laughs> 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 All righty, very good. So let's continue. Okay, let's practice the, the pronunciation of these two uh, phrasal verbs that we have seen right now. Repeat okay. after me. Put off. Put off. Put off. Yes. Put off. Put off. Yeah. Put off. Put off. Uh -uh. Remember, not put off like the roof, roof. No. Okay, put off. Put off. Put off. Put off. Put off. Put off. You need to feel, guys, that there's like an earth coming out of your mouth. Put off. Put off. Put off. Put off. Put off. Very good. Put off. Put on. 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 All right. Okay. Okay. I want you guys, each of you, to give me an example with that phrasal verb. One sentence. Please, uh, if tell me if it's okay. Okay. I tried. I tried run away of my teacher. Uh huh. I tried run away. This is the first verb. I, the I, I word. run away. I tried run away of my teacher. Of me. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, I'm not going to tell you right now. Okay. But that's okay, yeah, because we're about to see it in a minute. Okay, um, Patricia Melara. Thank you. I Hello. Like to, like to participate. Go ahead. Give me a sentence with put on or put off or any other one like Melvin did. I don't understand very, very good. Okay, don't yeah, worry. Frost. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> I, I'm going to continue teaching, but I'm going to ask another classmate and you pay attention, okay? Don't worry, don't worry, friend. That's okay. Uh, okay. Humberto, now yeah. it's your turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby, can you please put the guitar in? Put the guitar in. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. Like, I'm not going to tell anything, okay? Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Very good. Wendy, what about you? Um, I don't know if this okay, but oh, do your best. Uh, maybe this. The bus was full. I could I couldn't get on. I could get on. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very good. I'm not going to tell you anything. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. okay. Janet, what about you? Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I pick up you know? uh, all the times. All the time from my song every day. Okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> That's good. All righty. Uh, Anita, what about you? Anna Valdez. Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, uh, my daughter uh, pick up uh, your thing in your room. Okay, very good. And Noemi, what about you? I try to write. I have put off the visit to the dentist for the next month. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have put off. All right. Very good. Okay. Samuel Rosales. I have the the same. I know. Uh, Come on. Don't tell me that it's the same. Ah. Uh, <laughs> your your I imagination. Think, I, think, you, I swear. I swear you that I I I think in the same sentence that now I mean. Oh my god. Ah, yeah, can so be I can't can believe it. Telepathy, come on. All right. I will use another. So I will use one with put 
Um, okay, go ahead. Uh, I, Coralia, can you please put on uh, your glasses? Ah, very good. Excellent. <laughs> Coralia, okay. And she was like, okay. All right, who else? Uh, Helen, any other one? Okay, I don't know. Yes, you know. I put on my face mask every ah, day. You put on every day face. and Okay, very good. Sure. Yes, I know that. Me too. But yeah. I had to. Carlitos, yeah. how, are you? how are you? Hi, teacher. Okay, can I have a phrase, please? Um, maybe I don't know, but uh, please, know? please plug in, <laughs> sorry, please plug in the computer to the electrical connection, maybe. Plug in, plug in the computer with the plug, plug in. Plug, plug in. Okay. Plug in. Plug oh, mean that means that means like, yeah, mm -hmm. yes, insert yes. into a switch, okay? Yes, yes. Where comes the energy? Okay, very good, very good, Carlitos. Daniela Janet, I know that you were about to speak, so I need that girl. Um, I think I got Hello. an example. Maybe. Okay, go ahead. Do your best. Um, I I was thinking at some like maybe come back. Okay. Come back. I don't know. Is a phrase a better? Call back. Uh -huh. Come back. Ah, uh, come back. Uh, yes, come back. <laughs> and not really, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're going no. to get But that's okay. Uh, good try. Okay. <laughs> Jose Ismael Ramirez. Hi. Hi. I'm thinking some example. Okay, go ahead, sir. Yes, wow, smelling so. like the brain is burning. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, you know? To, today I, I put on my black t-shirts to the, uh, receive the class. I don't know. So, uh, oh, that means that he's wearing his black t-shirt. This is on a special occasion, you know? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, Excellent. Like okay, <laughs> very good, guys. Good try. Good try, okay? Excellent. I'm so happy and also so proud of you, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this is what I'm going to do. Let me continue sharing right now my screen. And we're about to also continue learning about that. Today, we're going to see the phrasal verbs in the present, and tomorrow we'll have more examples, okay? So don't worry about it. Don't worry, Umberto. I will answer your question. But like the new kids on the block, um, son said, step by step, ooh, baby. Step by oh, baby. step. Yeah, Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. right? All right, yeah. you see, the teacher can see. <laughs> well, only in the shower, but that's okay. Okay, can you see my screen, guys? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay, guys, so as uh, Umberto was saying in the beginning of the class, we can use uh, the two per verse or the phrase of verse right now with nouns. Okay, and let me give you this an example because this is really important that you know. If you're going to use it with the nouns, where you need to put the phrasal verb and the noun, okay? And guys, when you use it with a noun, like this expression, you see, it is usually, guys, possible to put this before, before the particle, okay? And I will give you right now an example. Well, I have it here. Okay, guys, in this particular sentence, in this one that I'm... Uh, put it right now like a red mark. Okay, could you please identify for me the phrasal verb here? Walk up. Walk up. Exactly. We walk have walk up. and we have up. Okay, that's great. Now, guys, in this particular sentence, could you please identify for me the noun? You know what noun is, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what is the noun here? The Jesus. The giant, giant, the giant. Giant, giant. Exactly. Giant. So you see, giant. guys, if we're using a noun, okay, that means that the noun will be in the middle of the two parts of the phrasal verbs. In this case, this is the verb, right? And this is the particle. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So if we're using a noun, it could be two things. It could be this example, the one that I'm showing you right now, but also, guys, it could be the second example that we have here, which in this case, could you please identify the in the second uh, sentence 
the phrasal verb, guys? Woke up. Woke up, yeah. exactly. Okay, what is the difference between the first sentence and the second sentence, guys? The position of the noun. The position of the noun, exactly, Umberto. So, guys, if we are using a noun, could you could you please identify? You we can do it in, in the two ways. We can put the noun in the middle of the phrasal verb. That means that we can separate the two parts of the phrasal verbs and put the noun mm -hmm. in the middle. Or the other option is that we can put the noun at the end. Okay, so you can use it in the, in the two ways. Teacher, however, yes. however, in a normal conversation, uh, what what is common to use? The first one or the last one? In a norm, oh, in a norm. Uh, the most common one is the first one. The most okay. common one. The most okay. common one. But you also you can use the second one, and it's fine. Okay. At least uh, if you're using a noun, okay? Because okay. if you're using a pronoun, that is totally different. And I'm aware okay. about that, okay? This is just a noun. Guys, is everything is clear so far? Yeah. So far yeah. so good? Are you see? For yeah. example, the verb a eh, pick, right? If we're talking yeah. about, for example, we can say Noemi, you can say eh, she pick Noemi up or she pick up Noemi, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Because mm -hmm. Noemi is a noun. It's a mm -hmm. subject, right? It's a proper noun. But it will be different if I'm using the pronoun. If I'm using she, he, it, etc which is about to see right now okay we're about to see it so bear with me for a couple of minutes okay let me check it out That's right. okay whoops i made a mistake yeah yes teacher you made a mistake but don't worry guys there you go okay that's what i know okay cool okay cool that's what i want to see it can you see it, guys? Now we're talking about, yes, we're talking about with pronouns, right? Yeah. Now with pronouns is different. Okay. If the object is a pronoun, okay, tell me, guys, an example of pronoun. Him. He, she. She, it. It. Her, etc. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take a look. It must come before the article. And you say you see this a must that means that there's no other way, okay. For example, take a look at this here in this first sentence. Where is guys the the phrasal verb? Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Exactly. Very good. Uh, but tell me something. Where is the pronoun? M. 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 Okay, so in this particular sentence, the pronoun is at the beginning of the phrasal verb, at the end of the phrasal verb, or is in the middle of the two parts of the phrasal verb? The middle. The middle. The middle. The middle. In the middle. Yes. All righty. Take a look exactly like this way. It's exactly the same way. You see? Mm hmm. All righty. Yeah, you see? And also the same. Okay, Daniel, I, I let you know that came back, no, but call back, yes, call back is a, is a phrasal verb. Call back, yes. Okay, it's similar, it's similar to that, but the other one that you asked for, but it's not the same. Okay, so you see, call back. It's exactly the same, guys. So you see, guys, that if we're using a pronoun, the pronoun is going to be in the middle of the two parts of the phrasal verb, okay? And do you remember that on, if we're using a noun, you can put either in the middle or at the end. Do you remember that? Sorry, I have a question. Yes. I don't understand what, what did you say. Don't worry. The... Who said that? Daniela? Yes. Okay, Daniela. Daniela. What is your question, girl? So my my example was come back. Mm -hmm. uh, that That is not a phrasal verb or e. come back. The Benito, no sé, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> The regresar, come back? No, because you can, for example, if you, you can you use a come back with a pronoun? No. Can you say no. come him back? No. Come it back? No. Come you back? Can you do that? No. No. So it's not a reservoir. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you can say call back. 
Oh, yeah. say, call him back. Cool. Call her back. Okay. Oh my God. I for, uh, I couldn't answer my my mother's phone call. You tell me, hey, call her back. Call her back. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. So that's why. That's why I ask you to like call your verses because we're about to see that. Okay. Okay. So guys, so far so good. So far with the phrase of verse that we have seen in the present. If you have any doubts right now? Any questions besides Anielita? Samuel? Who's sleeping, oh. by the way? Who's sleeping? <laughs> Samuel? Samuel is like... I'm here, I'm here. Uh, yes. Samuel. He's like, he's frozen, he's like... Uh, How that. do you say bostezar? Yo. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, if that I'm jealous. Oh, okay, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so this is right now for, that's all for today. It was our first class. Uh, hopefully, everybody had having a good time, hopefully. All right, we have seen today phrasal verbs in present, okay? And study okay. them, okay. okay? Please, because the teacher maybe will have a surprise tomorrow. I don't know. A quiz? Okay. You say a quiz? No. <laughs> A surprise. You know what? A surprise? Yeah, a surprise, but it is not necessarily a quiz. I oh, got okay. I guys, I do the evaluation of each of you every night. Every night. So Melvin and Adela knows that. And Umberto is like, what, what <laughs> oh am I God. doing here? Yes. What did I do? Okay, no. Okay, yes. Yes. I'm evaluating each of you in the first kill, so don't worry about it, okay? Yes. So, <laughs> so you know what kind of teacher I am. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm a good teacher. <laughs> and you know what? At the end of the week, depends how we are, um, like, reaching all or double-checking all the topics for this week. We might have a really great game that is called Kahoo. Right, Melvin? Oh. Right, Adela? All right. That is right. a really nice game. And basically, will help you to review everything that we have seen during the week. And it will be like like a self evaluation, so you can double check how good you are, uh, or what is exactly uh, the area that you need to improve. Okay, that is like a self examination. Don't worry, we're going to have so much fun, but at the same time, we're going to learn a lot. Okay. 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 Any, um, any questions so far? Any doubts? No. For the moment, no. For the moment, no. For the moment, I'm going to be good. I'm not going to give you homework. But tomorrow, yes. Homework? Okay. No homework. No homework for today, okay? I'm going to be nice. Yes, I know. Okay. But this is going to be the last day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. The one and only. Hey, the one and only. All right, guys. So it was nice to have you here. Hugs and kisses. Study. Go back to sleep or eat. And see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye, bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.